I, I remember being in my parents' house and being really upset going, this just isn't happening. I was doing, I'd applied for the BBC work experience. I didn't actually get into the Radio 1 work experience one. Uh, I got into, I got six music one, so I went and did that. I entered the student radio awards and I think I came third and I just thought like, <laughs> Yeah. like what what can i do i really want to be in radio i really want to work in radio i know I, I i know i could be good with a bit of time and what i did was you you have to be lucky but you have to make your own luck and i just kept plugging away i kept you know a, any opportunity where there was for a bit of work i mean i ended up working at a music promotion company three days a week and going to and from Southampton DJing just to be able to do carry on doing work experience. Yeah. And then eventually I got a call from the boss at Radio One um, who, who said that they wanted to bring me in on the show two days a week. Wow. And then it all went off from there, you know, and I did two days a week and then, and then I had another situation where that went on for about a year. And I, I remember thinking like, I need this to change now or I'm going to have to get another job because everyone else in my life was getting other jobs. And luckily Radio One took a bit of a leap of faith and gave me a contract um, for five days a week. And I remember, I actually remember they were, they were going to tell me on, um, they were going to tell me on the, the day after I got told. <laughs> And Scott had been told the night before that right. Scott can't keep the secret. <laughs> and uh, I remember we were in a pub, and he goes, "Look, I just want you to know, and um, they're going to tomorrow. They're going to offer you a contract for five five days a week." And it, I don't know if you know that moment in the pursuit of happiness where yeah. he just walks down the road. Will Smith walks down the road. He's just been offered this job. Yeah, yeah. I downed this pint that was in front of me, and I couldn't have been happier because. Right. It had been so frustrating and, and I can totally relate to what you're saying. Yeah. And all the ones that are good at Radio 1, everyone's good at Radio 1, but yeah. everyone that really cares and, and has longevity there, all people that really, really care about radio. And we've all had that moment and none of us have had it handed to us. Yeah. And so it's so hard because I speak to people like yourself who I can tell are exactly like, have exactly the same passion. and and all I can say is it is working out because you are doing everything right yeah. because you care about it and, it's, and it annoys you. So my biggest advice really is just to keep going and, um, and you know, obviously I, I hope that, you know, you or anyone else can just keep taking opportunities. But the most important thing I would say is that, do stuff for yourself like do it because you love to do it don't feel you're doing something because you have to do it don't put a pressure on yourself like that because you don't in my experience anything that's gone wrong for me has ended up being right longer term yeah, yeah, yeah. and i know that's a really odd way to look at it but if something doesn't happen i tend to find if you're that kind of person that i think you are and i know that i am that something brilliant ends up opening up because of it yeah totally it's, and it's a, i sometimes feel like i'm one of those free runners that is just constantly moving and you worry you're going to fall between the buildings and um somehow it just keeps going for me you know and i'm sure it'd be the same for you and then also it comes back to to what i say which is you whatever plan you try and set out for yourself it, it will never go to your plan but what you do is you uh, like for example, a Scott. When I right, not many people know this. I used to listen to Scott on the radio, right? Mm -hmm. And I used to email him trying to get him to listen to my demo, mm -hmm. and he didn't do it. He 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 just never did it, mm -hmm. and I didn't feel I was getting anywhere. And then I met Scott on a night. Um, sorry, no, I met his agent at a student radio conference, mm -hmm. and. I then emailed Scott saying, could you have a listen? I met your agent. Can you please listen to my demo? And then his agent underneath that put, replied to him going, oh, I've met Chris. He's, he's, he's all right. Like, give it a listen. Yeah. And then Scott happened to be DJing a couple of weeks later at a club that I was DJing. So my point being, 
you build up these personal relationships. You don't know how they then talk about you or step in away from outside, you know, outside of your plan or outside of just the conversations you're having yeah. or that they're working on an opportunity and they need someone that, you know, could be you or could even just be like, right, we need someone quite cheap to come in and work on this thing. Yeah. And actually I'm talking to this guy, seems really passionate, could be good for your, you know, this project or your project. So yeah, I think, building up relationships with people is really important because if, if you can do that, maybe I'll take the, take that point for granted in that for me, that's just everyday life now. Yeah, yeah, um, but, but yeah, I, I think it is important because you need as many people to be supporting you as possible.